What up guys, Swifty here. Um, this is gonna be the Class B uniform right now, actually. My Class A uniform hacks is being uploaded on YouTube. Um, while I'm doing this video. Anyway, here's a Class B one. I guess using the little fake metal again. And this time I actually have the hacks prepared. Oh, and this time you definitely, on the cord, want to use thin string. Now, Every hack that I showed you for the A class, you pretty much want to do on this. There's just a few different things. Yes, you want to put the tape behind this. I already did that, and as you can see, it pulls the shirt up with it. Now, ow, fuck. Because, <laughs> sorry, I hurt my foot. Because it's so thin and, like, your ribbons will wiggle around. Look at that. Barely wiggle. And the star. Okay. You want to get, like like cereal box cardboard like the thin stuff like off of this or like just the kind you'd see on a cereal box not thin like cardboard box like the packaging box not that kind now as you can see that's actually off of a crayon box a little piece of it that's where the star is in the top and then over here we got the big piece that I cut off that um crossman pellet thing and it helps it keep it straight and more firm um, and then for the name tag you do not use cardboard instead you're not going to go just through the pocket flap you're going to go through the pocket flap and then through the shirt in the back of it which is actually what I also do on the class A uniform I forgot to actually do that in the other one but it'll keep it straight, and it won't wiggle. It'll wiggle a tiny bit, and yes, I got everything a bit crooked. Another hack, if you want your ribbons to show more, which you don't really need to on Class A. I mean, I mean Class B, you'll need to on Class A. On Class A, you can, it is completely legal. You can move all your ribbons to this far corner. If, if, you, hit, if you hit your fourth row, it is legal to move them over to that. Also, you can get the military ribbons where they go diagonal up this way. And, like, not just all a big square and they hide up under that flap. Anyway, oh god, a lot of talking. And again, under the button, you want to do the double twisty string thingy, my bobber. And down here, again, you want to use a thinner string and not the tie. I'm actually going to put a thin string on the Class A, but... Yeah... I have sweat marks in the tag. That's nasty. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it for the Class B. Um, if you've seen this video, bless you guys. Peace. Oh, and same thing applies with the ribbon. I forgot about that.